Assalamu alaikum everyone, this is Daily Star and I'm going to read out an article which the title is Our Education System Needs to Change, which is written by Abu Ashraful Haider. So I hope all of you will enjoy it. So let's get started. In Bangladesh, all the primary education is free and government provides the textbooks. More than 4.3 million children aged 6 to 15 years are not in school and around 42 million people, about 26% of the population are still illiterate. Moreover, while our school enrollment rate is still high, the dropout rate is even higher. Data from Bangladesh Bureau of Educational In Information and Statistics show that in 2020, the dropout rate was 17.2% at the primary level, 35.76% uh, at the secondary level, and 21.16% at the higher secondary level. Most of this dropout happened in rural areas because the quality of education, the quality of the schools, and the standard of teaching are they are poor. Many parents feel reluctant to send their children to schools. They find the current education system is to be of little use of practical life, as neither textbooks nor the curriculum is relevant to their situation or match the requirements of the present job market. In the past few years, numerous experiments have been carried out in the name of modernizing and updating our primary, secondary, and higher secondary education. Yet, the existing education curriculum is not aligned with industry needs. While schools or colleges across the globe are focusing more on soft skills such as team building, problem solving, critical thinking, uh, communication, negotiation, decision making, etc. Our education system is still stuck in the past. Researchers suggest that our government's real estate, telecommunication, information, and technology sectors are facing several shortages of skilled manpower. So guys, if I want to read out the full article, the video will be more longer. So if you want to uh, improve your reading skill, spoken, uh, spoken skill, you should read newspaper daily. So that's all for today. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching.